add to a safety alert after the arrest of an after school camp coach at a park in Miami. And he's accused of molesting a nine year old boy. Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez is live with the disturbing details. Christina. And a note of caution for caregivers, parents who are watching right now. I know we have a lot of children at home for this holiday week that normally be at school at this time. So I do want you to know that the allegations in this case that you are about to hear do involve a young child and they are disturbing. So with that, let's get into some video you are going to see from a courtroom and you're going to be seeing the defendant in this case, 19 year old Julio Isidro, which police say was an after school camp counselor at the park in Miami. I'm joining you live at Robert King High Park. Now, during this court proceeding, our news team who watched the proceedings were explaining that the judge in this case did not issue a bond for the two lewd and lascivious molestation charges he is facing. According to Florida state statutes, because of his age being 19 and the victim in this case being the under the age of 12, the victim in this case is a nine year old, uh, because of that, th these are life felonies that he is facing, and that's why there is no bond being issued. Now let's go to video of the park where police say all of this happened. According to his arrest form, the child is enrolled at the after school camp program here at this park and on two separate occasions said that the defendant in this case touched him in his private areas uh, over his clothing. According to the arrest form, the defendant in this case uh, made two uh, different statements that maybe seem at friction with each other. One saying it was an accident while at the same time telling the child not to tell anyone. Now we're going to go to another picture so you can have a look at this uh, camp counselor. I did reach out to the city of Miami to inquire about their protocols and policies when it comes to background checks, when they employ uh, people to work with children at a public park like this. They deferred me to the Miami Police Department, uh, and I haven't yet heard back from either of them on that inquiry, but we will continue to be working on that. Coming back out to me live where I can say that, again, we just uh, he just appeared in front of that judge, and as far as we can see, he has not been issued a bond for those two life felons. Felonies. And one last note here, the real power and critical nature of school counselors in our community, we learned from the arrest form that all of this investigation stemmed from a school counselor that questioned the boy about something he did at school. And in that process of having the conversation is when he opened up, he says about what he says his camp counselor did to him. So reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.